Hey, how's it going out there? Hope you're having a great day. Hey, I want to talk about something that I've started doing oh, a few years ago, and it's, I like to call it, slurred fingering. Now, here's the, let me tell you my story first. I started off playing just like most everybody, always using all four fingers. Picking every note. You know, first I learned to be an alternate picker. But then I realized, eh, that ain't so hot. Then I became an economy picker. Looks like this. Approaching each string with a downstroke. On ascending passages, descending passages. Approaching everything on with an upstroke. Now that is good a good facility. You can you can you can wail with it. But then I hurt my little finger and then I've started looking at videos of people playing. Howard Roberts, especially I'm thinking Howard was strict, you know, he did the GIT thing and stuff. He always advocated alternate picking or, or uh, at least good fingering within a position. But then I'm watching him playing. He's not doing that. Wes Montgomery, same thing. So I, I call this slurred picking. And if I'm looking at a, uh, a major scale, let's say, in the key of A, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hammers and slides to play it. And I'm going to only hit one string to get all, all of the notes. So in other words, I'm going to go, and I'm going to use a hammer. Hit that one, slide, and a hammer. A hammer and slide. So you're sliding between the half steps in the scale. And hammering between the whole steps. Same thing, slides, pull off, slide, pull off, slide, pull off, pull off, slide, pull off. Now you can do that with any scale, any scale you play. So the reason I call it slurred fingering because I think it's kind of like a saxophonist. You know, when you hear them play, they blow once and finger all the notes. When they tongue it, then each note is articulated. So it's kind of like being picked. Each note is picked, even if you're alternate or economy. But when I slur it, it means I only hit a string one time. And you notice how it has a little more soul, doesn't it? I think it does. Um, and you can do any scale, any riff like that. So you kind of plan it out the way you, you do a riff. And uh, and from there, like for instance, a blues scale. <laughs> Let me do that again. So uh, even a blue scale, or any scale, anything, uh, the jazz scale. Okay, same idea. Now that's how a lot of really experienced players and people that I really dug would play a lot of times. So uh, Wes Montgomery in particular. So think about that, slurred fingering, okay? And uh, when you do that, remember this hand only has to do the minimum 
amount of work. So experiment with that. Check it out. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the guitar videos I put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. And if you want to learn jazz, hey, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. You'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.